After you've killed your grasshoppers by placing them in a Ziploc bag and uh, putting them either in a freezer if you're uh, close to your house or you put them on the dashboard on a hot sunny day for about five to ten minutes, uh, that rapidly kills them and makes them easier to examine to determine their species and also their development. This is the common Wyoming pest grasshopper book that illustrates the majority of our species that causes problems in Wyoming. It is designed to be easy to use. You just have to flip through it to find ones that are most like the specimens you've collected. They have uh, photos with the diagnostic characters that help separate them from each other. Um, we have over 109 species of grasshoppers in Wyoming and probably a lot more to be discovered eventually. In this case, we are dealing with adult grasshoppers, and in our collection, we only got three different species. You can see that the majority of the species here have bright blue legs and marked size difference between the males and females. The other two species that we have in here are Melamplus occidentalis, a flabulate grasshopper. See here, this one's lost a hind leg, but it has the orange and blue. The other species that was present in our sweet nut sample was Melanoplus packardi. They have highly variable color on their tibia, uh, so you have to go more by the shape of the rear of the uh, abdomen on the males to determine their species. But uh, looking at this uh, photo, uh, it's almost a perfect match for our specimens here. Uh, the other information that's contained about the particular species is uh, where they've been collected in Wyoming, hatching time, uh, whether they will take uh, grasshopper baits, and their economic importance. These are all adults. You can tell that by the wings. The, uh, they have fully developed wings. And uh, unlike the nymphs, if you can do your treatments uh, early before they become adults, you'll save a lot of forage and it's much easier to manage them. Uh, and you'll prevent them from laying eggs and, and causing you problems the next year.